Hello guys, I'm Dire Raven, and ever since Discovering Eve, I've wondered why there was no way to take this wonderfully expansive game with me without having to drag my laptop, rather it be simply to play in other parts of the house than where my setup is, or a boring trip to the doctor's office. This led me, like many of you I'm sure, to take a look at NetEase's Eve Echoes. But while I give props to NetEase for making such an Eve-ish mobile adaptation, there are many flaws to this approach of having Eve on the go. The biggest of these being that it is in sense Eve, and therefore requires a hefty amount of grinding to make any mentionable achievements, causing you to have to decide where you're going to spend both your time and hard-earned cash for Omega Time between Eve Echoes and Eve Online. And let's be honest, if you have invested any sizable amount of time into EVE Online, do you actually want to start over? Yes, these problems are just the tip of the iceberg, but this isn't the topic of this video, so I digress. I searched high and low for a way to play EVE Online on my phone or tablet for a good while, but found no real answers or solutions to this problem. Until recently. I was scrolling through a Reddit article, once again looking for a solution, such as a Windows emulator, when I came across an article that has proven to be the best solution I have seen to date, GeForce Now. It is a service that launched in early 2020, allowing users to play games on a GeForce PC through cloud streaming on a variety of devices, from tablets and phones to smart TVs. While I have not as of yet been able to get Eve to play on my television, I have been able to successfully test it on both my Samsung phone and tablet. And I have to admit, the experience is great. Not to mention freeing, it's something that every capsuleer should try out and have access to. Now this is by no means a paid testimony, but simply a user of the service being extraordinarily impressed and wanting to shout it from the rooftops. I will leave a link to the site so you can check out some more info about the service below in the description box. Also in the description box you will find a link to pick up your free million skill points. Go ahead and click on that while you're here. You'll get a million SP and I'll get a few Master at Arms accelerators to help support the channel. It's a win-win. So let's take a look at some footage recorded on my phone, go over some of the ins and outs of the gameplay, and talk about some of the supported devices. The first thing I would like to discuss is maneuverability within the game. While it's possible to play EVE with just a touch screen, you are going to be completely reliant upon navigating via your overview. You will not be able to pan around your ship, zoom in or out, scroll through inventory, or drag and drop items from your ship to your item hanger. However, if you're an industrial pilot, you will be able to do some high sec mining on the go, using two finger tab to pull up solar system locations such as belts and stations, zooming in and out on the game screen in its entirety to tap small buttons and reprocessing ore into minerals which will automatically deposit the minerals into your item hanger and thus clearing much of your ore hold i also must state that if this is the way you decide to go i would advise staying in high sick areas making it relatively safer to slowly navigate from place to place not a perfect solution to our problem but allowing EVE Online to be played via a mobile device, completely on the fly, wherever you may find yourself. However, getting just a little bit fancier and tech savvy, if we add a Bluetooth mouse to the equation, you just turned your experience into a complete EVE adventure. You can pick up a nice 8 button Bluetooth mouse like this one on Amazon for about 20 bucks. Now you are set up for low sec exploration, null sec PvP, Abyssal Runs, the entire EVE Online experience. I have played this way for about the last month, and it's awesome. I have gotten some PvP kills on my tablet, harvested gas out of low sec, ran security missions, and did a good bit of low sec exploration. I've attempted to put it through the paces, and I honestly have no complaints. Apart from some of the goofy ads you'll have to watch while waiting in queue to get a rig if you play on the free GeForce Now account. But hey, we're talking about being able to jump into EVE from anywhere you have service on a mobile device for free. Yeah, I will watch your ad about girls rocking their mustaches and pretending to be prints. Now, you may find yourself asking, 
but Raven, what about my keyboard shortcuts? Yes, a Bluetooth keyboard would be wonderful, and I have in fact been using one, but it is by no means a necessity for the mobile experience. Simply tap on the screen and a menu will appear, giving you the ability to pull up a virtual keyboard. The only real drawback of this is that it, of course, takes up a very large portion of the screen, blocking the view of the game. Not so good for shortcuts, but if you find yourself needing to chat with your corpies, you do have the ability to do that without packing around extra gear or peripherals. So ultimately, the choice is yours. So that being said, let's talk about tiers real quick. Nvidia offers three tiers, free, priority, and ultimate. Free has a session limit of one hour and a short waiting queue. Priority has a six hour session limit and ultimate an eight hour session limit with no waiting queue for either priority or ultimate tiers. I believe there's also a difference in the rig that you connect to for each tier, but all three tiers run Eve with ease. If you notice the packet loss in the gameplay footage, that's only because I live in the middle of nowhere and have very poor internet service. Now at the time of this recording, GeForce Now is available on Windows PC, Mac OS, iOS, Safari browser, Android phones and tablets, Android TV, Nvidia Shield TV, supported Samsung TVs, and select LG TV models. Now I mentioned earlier that I had not been able to get EVE Online to work on my Samsung TV. However, the GeForce Now app itself does work. It just says EVE is not supported on that device. I do, however, look forward to exploring what other game titles are available to play on the TV. So that about wraps it up. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you have, leave a like and share it so that your friends can also check this out. Maybe you can help your corpies be online more often. If you've tried GeForce Now before, leave a comment, tell us about your experience and your thoughts. And as always, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so. And I'll see you in the verse. Fly safe.